Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK and another shopping vlog. Hopefully you can hear me in the wind, I do have a wind filter on. We are living in very strange times and there is a coronavirus, COVID-19, that is infecting people. It's encouraging social distancing, a lot of people from working from home, including Claire and I, um, at least periodically. Um, and it is causing some like panic buying and loads of interesting situations so today we're at Aldi and we're gonna see what it's like in there we Sarah and I haven't actually shopped since it's been mental which is about the last week or so so let's see what it's like so there we go guys straight away there's notices yeah, four units, maximum of four units. I mean, the in terms of business, it's a Friday at like 11 right now. Um, seems fine so far, so let's see what we can get. They've got plenty of lunch options here. We've got falafel and hummus. They've got chicken tikka and onion bhaji. Ooh. Uh, falafel and hummus. They've got, you'd like a can of Coke. Using the height ability of me. There we go. Full fat. Full fat, yeah. Full, full sugar. I might get one of these duck wraps. They're quite nice. Um, might get a BLT or something as well. You want something hot? Wow. Um, yeah, I think I might get one of these. No, they're alright. Okay, they've got plenty of vegetables. Um, we need onions is one thing that we need. So, just these normal onions here. Fine. Uh, oh, wonky carrots, 60p, or normal ones, 50p. I, I suppose you get more. Yeah, I feel sorry for the wonky ones too. Let's get, oh, it's a big bag there. We do need a lot. Why do you need carrots? Because we're going to have hummus and roasted carrots. Right, so that's Black Widow, that's delayed. Carrots, potatoes. Got plenty of herbs as well. Um, so this is where we're starting to see the first sort of coronavirus affected areas. Obviously there's loads of rice that's missing, like easy noodles, all that sort of thing are basically missing. There's a lot of whatever this is as well, spaghetti, yeah, pasta. So pasta and rice is uh, is down, but yeah, pretty much most of everything else. Roast chickens as well is not so many. We're gonna get this one, I think. Plenty of um, ready meals and soups and whatnot, so that's good. Look at this, carrot, ginger, and butternut squash. They've got some nice soup options here. Sweet potato, coconut, and chili. What's that? Pea and cherry with smoked ham hock. Yeah, nice, decent. As you see, plenty of beef, plenty of like bacon and whatnot. Do we want any bacon? I think Claire and I basically, we're, we're going to try and use stuff that's in the freezer anyway. Try and use up some of the stuff because we are, well, it's just good. It's good to make room and whatnot. It's good to be sensible during these times. We need to defrost the freezer. Yeah, correct. We do need to defrost the freezer, yeah. What we got there, Claire? Smashed avocado. It's pretty good. Pretty easy. 99p, it's quite expensive, but I suppose avocado is expensive inherently so another bit where there's slightly less stock is uh, like crisp breads and whatnot pe -pe 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 piss off you shit biscuit quite nice cream egg chock cakes so they've still got plenty of you know worst case scenario you just buy a load of cupcakes wouldn't you claire's looking at the essentials the essential items appetizer as well great drink great drink Great drink, well, well, well drank. They've got plenty of packet rice and whatnot, and plenty of like um, just easy to cook rice and all that sort of thing. Loads of couscous, couscous like 35p. So yeah, we're 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 fine, guys. We're fine. We're all right, aren't we, Claire? We're all right. We've already got uh, rice, which I'm a bit fuming about because you said I couldn't have a rice the other day, and then one in the cupboard. Some barren shelves with the like tins and whatnot, but again, nothing. Nothing that is absolute dire straits or anything like that. Four of anything, maybe. Foil? Four of any, no, we've only got, no. we're only selling four. Yeah, four, four of, yeah, limit, limit four per customer, yeah. 
Got plenty of Easter stuff, so Easter can still go ahead. So that's good. Uh, what have we got in like the special purchase section? Special purchase aisles. These look alright to be fair. These they look quite um they look like they've got quite high uh, quite high oil content, so they're probably alright. I don't, I don't really like the jar sauces anyway, so medicine is uh, another thing. In, in, in infant suspension, so that's basically cowpole and ibuprofen tablets. Now the interesting thing about the infant suspension is that there is, a, to my understanding, there is a problem with one of the ingredients that they use in it, one of the items that they actually use. Because um, I was in the, in the pharmacy yesterday getting some Voltarol for my hands because I got I suffer from like RSI sort of thing, repetitive strain injury, because of all the computer use. And uh, yeah, apparently one of the one of the ingredients is in short supply. So cowpaw and all the sort of child medicines, you you won't find any time. Literally, his words were, "You won't find that any time soon." So problems. Uh, anyway, few few empty shelves here. But again, this is not this is not the uh, this is not not a bad this is not the worst case scenario at all, is it, guys? Coconut toothpaste. That's weird. Two fifty. Claire's looking at the Easter eggs. The lighter way to enjoy chocolate. You know, you're gonna get crushed by all that. That'll be the that one. Ah, yeah, you get four. Kennel panic buying folks over here. Oh, Kennel. Oh, look at this fella. Like him. Unicorn as well. Christ, look at that. Giant dragon egg. Oh, oh this is a situation, guys. This is the first thing I've actually wanted that they've been sold out of is tortilla wraps. I did, however, write on the list that pita breads would work. Oh, um, I'm gonna get crushed. Uh, pita breads and flatbreads will work, so I'm gonna grab some of them. They've got, they've got plenty of pita breads and whatnot. Let's just, yeah, let's go for them. They look all right. Go for, oh, actually, we've got, oh, we've got large pita bread folded style. I might go for that, actually. What we got, what we got. Uh, right, so we've got, yeah, Mediterranean style. Let's try, let's try them out. Even though they're really high in calorie, let's, let's give them a go. Oh, damn. This is, yeah, this is a severely affected area. We've got straight, oh, they steak chips. Let's get some of them. Yeah, they will. Yeah, let's try the, try the halloumi burgers and the halloumi fries. Grab some, oh, grab what? them. Really? Yeah, just grab them. Um, yeah, there's like pretty much no pizzas here at all. Damn! Oh yeah, this is all empty. I mean, they are they are filling up a lot of stuff right now, but um, yeah, damn son. What have we got over here? Salted caramel and lemon meringue ice creams. Yeah, more pizza shortages, and then we have got pizzas here. I'm not a massive fan of frozen pizzas, but there's yeah, there's, there's some alright ones down here, aren't there? Like. Stuffed crust, uh, pepperoni and chorizo, chorizo. Uh, anyway, we've got plenty of food now, so I think we're gonna call it a day there. Yeah, frozen, eat, eat fresh, folks. Don't panic by the frozen, eat fresh. And uh, actually, we did see this the other day, the, um... oh, oh, we've got a new flavor, Claire. Raspberry and watermelon. Wow. Nice, but, uh, so yeah, this is their, so this is part of Aldi's vegan range of products, like curried cauliflower lattices and uh, the, like sausage rolls, vegan sausage rolls, vegan pasties. There's some really cool stuff over the looks of it. Y'all tried any of this? Oh my God, we've got loo roll folks. We've got fucking loo roll. Oh my God, oh my God, get some fucking loo roll. We do actually need some though, so. We'll have a nice little loo roll. Oh, shit, 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 There we go. Oh, aloe vera as well, folks. We're going to be wiping our bums in style and comfort today. Right, so yeah. That we just literally saw them put that uh, loo roll out. I mean, I, I don't care about it. You know, we got wet wipes and whatnot. And there are, basically, there are more creative ways to wipe fecal matter from your bum, right? So, um... I'm all right, no matter what happens. But um, Claire's been very eager to get the old loo roll. But yeah, people are going mad for that stuff. Um, good, right, I don't know what Claire's doing. She's disappeared, so I'm just gonna start loading up, I think. Right, we are done, that is it. 
I think they were just saying they're limiting one um, lira per customer, which I think is very sensible. Yeah, that was that wasn't too bad. It was there was a slight air of mania, just like a slight manic edge to it. It was a bit ooh, a bit bubbling like, a bit, bit bit bubbling like, but blah 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 blah. blah. But um, yeah, it was fine, fine really. Um, probably being blown out of proportion there, but anyway. Let's get back into self-isolation, guys. Stay safe. Uh, no unnecessary licking or touching. That's my advice, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.